coming up on Look Today. Well, Washington County Judge Kelly McKeegan has dismissed two charges against Joshua Bennett and Rachel Ball. I have the details. Plus, the Capital Region Economic Development Council will submit their bid for a $500 million grant. And a former Skidmore College employee steals over $250,000 from the college. Find out what he took. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and here's a look at what's making news today in Saratoga, Warren, and Washington counties. Well, in our lead story, Washington County Judge Kelly McKeegan has dropped two felony charges against Rachel Ball and Joshua Bennett in the connection to the one-year-old, uh, the death of one-year-old Kaylee Castle. Now, the judge decided there was not sufficient evidence presented to the grand jury to charge the two with tampering of evidence. Both are still being charged with murder in the case. Now, Judge McKeegan also announced that he will give Ball and Bennett separate trials. A pretrial hearing will take place on October 8th for both defendants. Joshua Bennett will be tried for the drug charges on November 16th. The trial for murder is set for December 7th. And both Bennett and Ball are being held in Washington County Jail. We will update you on this story as information becomes available. Changing from news to weather. After some rain this afternoon, it seems that the wet weather will continue throughout the night and into tomorrow. So how much rain will we get for the latest? Let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. And back to the news. Well, the Capital Region Economic Development Council will submit a plan to the state next week for a $500 million grant. Now, the EDC wants to create Tech Valley 2.0 by using public and private investments to foster high-tech developments, urban renewal, and entrepreneurship. Now, the Capital Region EDC is comprised of eight counties, including Warren, Washington, and Saratoga counties. Well, Representative William Hart says that the group already has private investments lined up, but could not say who they are. If our region wins one of the grants, they receive $100 million each year for the next five years. Well, in other news, Clifford Williams was arrested for stealing $258,000 worth of electronics from Skidmore College. State police records show that Williams purchased electronic equipment on a Skidmore College credit card over a four-year period. He was charged with second-degree grand larceny and first-degree falsifying business records. Well, w Williams was arraigned in Saratoga Springs City Court and released pending prosecution. He is no longer employed by the college. Also in the news, government trustees are calling for the delay of dismantling decontamination facilities on the Hudson River. Well, GE is finishing dredging a 40-mile stretch of the Hudson River, the last of the multi-year project. GE was required by the EPA to dredge the river after they dumped PCBs into that river decades ago. Well, the Hudson River Natural Resource Trustees have been assessing the harm done to the river's resources. In a letter to the EPA, they say that the river is recovering more slowly than expected. The assessment could lead to a liability settlement or litigation with GE. Well, still to come, Warren County SPCA President Jim Fitzgerald is here to talk about the SPCA and fundraising opportunities in Warren County. Plus, Saratoga County Chamber of Commerce's VP of Membership Services Denise Romeo is here to talk about the upcoming business expo. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, or join us for an interview, give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. 